BBC Meekin from Bloomberg. Uh, what would you say to the climate protesters outside who believe that the BOE haven't put their money where their mouth is when it comes to climate change? And do you think the current mandate of the BOE actually gives it adequate room to do what needs to be done for climate-related risks? Yeah. Um, well, I think the um, I think the bank has done a uh, tremendous amount um, and has been one of the leaders on addressing the, uh, and since we're here with the FPC, addressing the financial stability risks uh, from climate change, starting with actually identifying the framework to look at those risks, uh, being the first public institution to do that in terms of the division between physical and transition risks and the importance of uh, transition risks, something we did just uh, five years ago, less than five years ago, in fact. Uh, moving um, to catalyze a private sector initiative led by Mike Bloomberg to get climate, proper climate disclosure, not just static disclosure, but strategic disclosure through the TCFD. Consequence of that has been $120 trillion of balance sheet across asset managers through to systemic banks and sovereign wealth funds that are now demanding that type of disclosure from the industry. Um, that information, then the question is, what do you do with that information? What does the market do with that information. Um, from our perspective, uh, the issue is how well do they manage the risks associated with the transition from where we are today to where, example in the UK, where the government has now legislated, where Parliament rather has now legislated, the country needs to go, which is carbon neutral. Um, and that needs a system that uh, can manage those transition risks. The first step in that, or the most important step, and I wouldn't underplay how significant it is that the FPC and the PRA have decided to run this uh, exploratory scenario for the UK financial system of how, how resilient are their strategies to different climate pathways, including one uh, that is consistent with uh, 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 the government's, uh, uh, Parliament's uh, objective. Uh, including other ones that could be more disruptive to the sector. Um, that is absolutely frontier. Um, it will take uh, developments from um, the uh, development of the technology, if you will, of managing those risks that need to be uh, drawn out of the private sector with uh, public sector input uh, and then rigorously implemented. Um, that will have a huge impact in terms of the preparedness of the system. So you're shifting tens, hundreds of trillions of dollars into getting the right um, uh, information, to managing the right risks, and that puts us, uh, you know, puts the system in a position to do what the country decides. Ultimately, it's not for financial regulators to decide what the cl uh, climate pathway is going to be, but it very much is our responsibility to make sure uh, that the system is a position uh, to support it. Um, and uh, I mean, I, I think we can, um, we're doing our job, uh, but we have done our job in a way that has anticipated where the world is going, certainly where the UK is going, where the financial system is going. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a shorter version of what, uh, what I would say to those protests. And then I, I, maybe the last thing I'll say is that we also uh, are very conscious that uh, as an institution, uh, we need to uh, walk the walk as well. So we're adopting the TCFD, the same disclosures. Our next annual report will have that. Um, we have our senior managers responsible for this. We've cut our emissions already by 25% uh, uh, per head, and we're going to cut them by two-thirds cumulative by 2030. In other words, consistent with um, a path to one and a half degrees, which is the stretch target, as you know, for COP21.